Welcome back to Phoenix White, folks. We just took out another uh, Pandora nest, so we've taken out three now. So that's pretty good. And we're going to head up to base, just rest up the little bit that we need to. And then we're going to head out here and set up an area scan. So this one is almost done as well. So maybe we should head out here and set out set up an area scan first. Thinking. We'll see. We'll see. So let's head home. There we go. Just... All right, mutagen harvesting. We discovered that certain tissue samples retain the ability to mutate the dis to mutate. The discovery was made when a test subject accidentally had a mutated sample injected into them. The error was, dis was discovered too late, but scientists observed the results and found that Pandorans have a set of cells derived from the or original Pandora virus infection that have unique properties. We call these mutagens. We call these mutagens. They were the same cells the disciples of Anu use in rituals to evolve closer to the exalted. Since the discovery, the process has been refined, allowing 70% of a creature's mutagens to be extracted during a lab procedure. For the harvesting to be successful, the specimen needs to be alive during the process. Okay. Bonus effects. Mutagens can be harvested from captured Pandorans in the containment facility. Cool. Do you really think the answers we need as a species lie in Pandoran biology? In plundering the invaders for their mutagens? The disciples believe that humans need to evolve, to mutate. But don't you see the inherent misanthropy of this philosophy? Blaming humanity for what was done to it by an alien aggressor? The very premise is profoundly unethical. If we start telling ourselves that we need the Pandorans in order to improve ourselves, how are we any better than the collaborator who tells himself the enemy will make things better in the long run? Yeah, that's true. That's true. So, we do what we must to survive. Recognizing human humanity's biological flaw is not misanthropy. This is none of New Jericho's business. I'd say we do what we must to survive. New Perhaps, Jericho likes us a bit but better. at what cost? One could argue that the Pandorans themselves are a form of survival. They are part human. And they are alive, so there is biological continuity between us and them. But do they contain any of what is worthwhile about humanity? Good question. Good question. So Najarakasuko likes us a little bit less. That's a shame. They're down to 10%. Alright. Now... Let's just have a quick look at research. We're reverse engineering the Iron Fury. We'll do worm eggs. So let's do those first. In manufacturing, we are making some Amphion body armor. Uh, all right. All right. Let's rest up. There we go. I think this is basically done so let's head over here and scan, complete. scan there Some elite Research trainings complete. right worm egg virtually identical in na nature the worm eggs may contain any of the pandoran worm subspecies at present these three subtypes have been identified different in only the shell surface and the subtype they contain in all cases, the outer shell is proven to be highly resistant to damage in contrast to other alien eggs. The outer layers of the specimen are also highly flexible and capable of containing corrosive, flammable and toxic substances. Additional findings. Worm eggs react to foreign proximity triggering the hatching process whenever a human or mechanical, pre pre mechanical presence is sensed. A bit of materials and food. Now we do, we are, we're doing reverse engineering, but we do need to get some more stuff to research soon. Alright, let's set up an area scan there. And then we'll head up here and set up an area scan up here. Research complete. 
New Jericho Gauze Handgun. All right, 60 damage, 14 effective range. Only one action point to use as well. All right, so it does more damage, but it has less range than ours because our range on uh, on our pistol is 18, I believe. Yeah. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's keep going up here. We could stop by and do the frozen on the way. We're heading that way anyway. Let's do it. We will try this frozen thing. Maybe it'll give us something else to research. Exploration side. Our operative have reached a defunct research station in northern Siberia, identified in Syme's notes as a significant point of interest. The doors stand open, and there are no signs of life. Let's investigate. The scientists who worked at this station are all long dead. Their mutated bodies lie in frozen in strange demoniac poses. I would say demonic, not demoniac. Okay. It's easy for our operatives to retrieve the samples they were re researching, which Randolph Symes came all this way to examine. Okay. In 2022, a group of researchers investigating an anthrax outbreak caused by melting permafrost in northern Siberia went missing. The Phoenix Project tried to find out what happened to them, but our resources were stretched too thin, and our allies in the Russian government were losing influence, so we let it go. All these years later, looking at these samples, I wonder, is this where it started? Is this the first outbreak? If we had done more, could we have stopped it? The genetic material I have recovered might hold the answers, but I'm not sure I want to know. Okay. Me neither, I think. Uh, research it didn't give us anything new. So let's head over here and scan. We can now do new research. So area scan. So there research advanced mutation technology. Research complete. Multiple new mutations have been developed, allowing humans to become faster, more agile, and have the power to stun enemies in battle. These new procedures are now available at the mutation laboratory. Ooh. Receptor head. Accuracy plus 20%. And stealth plus 5. And this is stealth plus 30. And none of it gives speed, unfortunately. Uh, stealth minus 10. Let's see. You don't have an ability. You have an ability. Electric kick. Perform a melee kick and daze target if shock value is greater than target's hit points. Okay. This has two. Tentacle attack. Perform a melee attack and apply paralyzed damage. And tentacle retaliation. Melee repost with the tentacles in response to nearby enemy attacks. Very cool. We're going to have to try some of these things at some point. Can we manufacture them? We cannot. I guess uh, we need the, the lab thing. So, is that something we could build? The research lab, satellite uplink, energy generator, living quarters, training facility, fabrication plant, active store, medical bay, food production, mutation lab. It is something that we can build. It costs two power. Let's build it. Head back to the geoscape. We started the scan here, so let's explore the site. Welcome to Hell, exploration site. Okay. Our operatives have set down outside an old prison facility. The whole place is still locked up tight, but using some heavy cutting equipment, our people have been able to get inside. There's hundreds of corpses in here, all in various states of decomposition. It smells terrible, but what's truly horrifying is to think that all these people were just left to die, not even given a chance to fight for their lives. Yeah, that is horrible. 
Uh, search the prison. Our operatives brave the awful conditions and manage to gather up all the resources they can find. The worst find of all is that there was food in storage rooms while people starved in their cells. Right, 90 materials, 90 food, and we lost some stamina. We'd really like tech. Let's explore this site over here. The Swarms Exploration Site. Our operatives have sat down near an abandoned farm. A quick search of the house and the grounds reveals that the place has been picked clean. There's a lot of flies around, some of them bigger than a human thumb. Nasty. Our team is taking precautions. There's a large bar barn around 200 meters from the rain main building of the property. It might be worth investigating. Search the barn. Ooh, 160 tech. Nice. The closer our operatives get to the barn, the more agitated the flies become, swarming in spiral patterns and throwing themselves against our operatives. It's not dangerous at present, but it is exhausting. The barn contains a makeshift lab. One wall is covered by an enormous pulsating organism that seems to somehow control or affect the flies. Our operatives recover as much of the lab equipment as they can before getting out of there. Okay. Tech is nice. We needed tech. Uh, let's have a quick look at our bases. Um, actually, I want to look at manufacturing. Um, I'm thinking of making this Tiamat. I'm thinking of making a Tiamat. It's slow as hell, but it has a long range and it can carry two more soldiers. Or should we just go steal one? It seems unfriendly to steal your uh, your uh, allies' ships, but I'll give it a little consideration before I make up my mind. Uh, let's explore this. No, a Sinedrian base for this. Could also steal an, a Sinedrian ship. Ooh. That's one of these guys. We don't have any equipment for him. We don't have any equipment for those. Alright. Juicy exploration site. Our operatives have discovered a former Phoenix Project site, an advanced genetics lab intended to replace some of the Phoenix Project's aging research infrastructure. It was shut down in 2019 and sold to a startup that produced 5G-compatible automated juice pressers. <laughs> 5G-compatible juice pressers? I don't really see the need for that. Let's search the site. There's nothing left of the Phoenix Project equipment that was sold along the, with the lab, but the half-finished executive relaxation area that was being built in 2030 when the company's stock crashed is easy to dismantle. Uh, there are also crates full of unsold juice packets, which oddly enough seem not to have expired. Okay, 400 materials, 40 tech, 800 food, or 80 food. Okay. Uh, let's do these two exploration sites. Uh, the Widening Gyre. Several members of base personnel have caught, been caught sleepwalking and drawing elliptical shapes on the walls in an overlapping, almost hypnotic pattern that induced feelings of anxiety in onlookers. And make, waking the individuals were confused, but otherwise unaffected. All of them reported dreams of flight. Okay, weird. Uh, for the site. Another Sinedrian base for this site. Gladland exploration site. Our officers have discovered a theme park dedicated to the lucrative lads, a novelty boy band made up of young hedge fund managers who enjoyed enormous success with their single golden gecko. Before crashing, spectacularly when their second album failed to sell more than a hundred copies. The park, like the band itself, was initially thought to be intended ironically. It is unusually well preserved. Okay. 
Rupert Classylad Kane, formerly of the band, now works as an analyst for New Jericho. In an urgent message, he pleads for us to destroy the park and not let anyone know about it. Mr. West does not know about my history with the band, he says, and I don't know what he would do if he found out I was part of something so frivolous. Set the park on fire, share this information with New Jericho, dismantle the park for material. Let's dismantle the park for material. 300 materials. Half the park appears to be made of plywood, but there's at least a few bits and pieces we can repurpose. Okay, we have so many materials now. Uh, let's have a look at this haven. Uh, we could sell some food or some materials for, uh, for tech. I think we'll do that. Let's head over here. And... Uh, even info. Let's just trade some food for, for this tech. Alright. Still have tons of food, tons of materials. Tech is really our uh, our weak point. But let's see. We could go steal their aircraft. There is one here. And diplomacy there at 19%. I don't think I want to steal their aircraft until we have gotten access to all their bases. So let's go over here. We do need to set up a new scan area scan. Place. Two new area scans. Ooh. Uh, new Jericho base. In the Jericho Haven. Let's grab some more tech. Okay, let's explore here. Doesn't take too long to explore. I don't feel like we're wasting too much time doing it. Or here. Okay, exploration site, the Doom Kingdom. Our objectives have set down in what looks like an abandoned compound. The concrete walls have been breached and there's old bloodstains all over the grey cement. Search the site. Ooh, 160 tech. An old journal found by one of our operatives suggests this was an independence movement. By all accounts, the people who lived here declared themselves a country and, and tried to fight off the government forces who came to arrest them. Looks like it didn't work. Okay. Ah, good stuff, good stuff. You know what, let's go to manufacturing and let's start making one of these tier mats. And then we will head down here to this exploration site and do that. And then we'll set up a scan down here and up here. Yeah, that's the plan. So let's do this. Rise by sin by virtue fall, exploration site. The coordinates in Syme's notes have led our operatives to a small abandoned camp high up in the mountains. Behind it lies the entrance to a cave. Okay, investigate it. The cave contains the corpse of a Caucasian male. It is hardly hard to identify at first as it is overgrown with yellow sickly looking leaves sprouting from the shrivel, shriveled skin. The backpack on the floor contains faded photographs of a, and broken specimen jars. Syme seems to have taken what he needed, but even what remains is enough to revolutionize our understanding of this planet's biological history. Our analysis, analysis of the leaves growing from the body show that this organism contains traces of the Pandora virus, but a different, older strain. The implications of this discovery warrant a further study. Ooh. In his essays, my great-grandfather recounts the story of the ill-fated Chinling Bashan expedition of 1915 and the journal of Lei Meng, the leader of the mission, who found evidence of a forgotten proto-civilization deep below the ground. There is also mention of James Dawson, a British photographer who stole most of the precious samples recovered by the team. What became of Dawson has always been a mystery, but now I know the mundane truth. He died here in the mountains, forgotten and alone. This 
proto-civilization. Could it hold the key to defeating the Pandora virus? They say history repeats itself. Has all of this happened before? That's a good question, dude. That's a good question. Let's come down here and explore that site. Well, we'll set up an area scan and then explore. Uh, area scan and explore the site. Didn't get much further on that. The junkyard exploration site. Command score was has landed outside an abandoned junkyard. There are hundreds of rusting vehicles and automotive parts here. Hopefully, we can find something useful. Other scavengers have been here before us, but there are still some parts we can use. 50 tech, 170 materials. Okay. We won't be scanning much further than we already had. I should have gone over here to scan. We want to set that up now. Hmm. Area scan, explore. Lay of the land exploration site. The Manticore 1 has encountered a new Jericho scouting expedition. They're producing detailed maps of the region. You gotta think big, Commander McGrath explains. Can't just sit around in our havens and hope this will blow over. We need to know the lay of the land. It's our damn planet after all. And you know what they say, the devil's in the details. Yeah. Uh, you know what, let's pay for the data. Maybe that'll make them a little bit happier. Site added to Geoscape for exploration. Site added to Geoscape New Sydney. Right, says McGrath. That's a fair trade. Sending sending your you everything we got so far. Very nice. Uh, we've got some new sites. These are scavenging sites. I think I want to head up here, though, and do these. Because I want to set up a new area scan up here as soon as these are done. And I think, actually, uh, let's have a look at our bases. So we can, uh, let's just repair that facility, that's fine. We're on base three. And we are going to set up a satellite uplink here as well. We have a third satellite uplink. I think that'll be useful when we get uh, more craft. And Construction complete. Mutation and mutagens. The mutation lab allows you to use mutagens to mutate part of your soldiers, allowing them to acquire new abilities. Mutagens are obtained with time from the mutation lab or can be harvested from captured Pandorans. Mutated body parts cannot be equipped with armor. Okay. Interesting. Now, we haven't found a single mission here, not even a scavenging site or anything. Uh, I thought these uh, the Symes archives, they would be missions, but they are just research sites. Uh, there. Can we make it down there in time? Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. I don't think we'll make it there before they have won. The Falcon cannot hear the Falconeer. We have received multiple report reports of flocks of birds flying in strange repeating spiral patterns. They persist in doing so until death from exhaustion or malnutrition. Unfortunately, we have been unable to locate a specimen to example, examine, so we cannot determine whether this anomalous behavior is the result of Pandora virus infection or not. Understood. Uh, the thing is now up to 10%, which uh, we won't make it in time, will we? No. Nope. Dang it. Dang it. You know what? Since we're here, let's just head over here. 
and rest up real quick there then we'll f head down here and set up an area scan oh maybe in towards hope oh, under attack by pandorans and that's over here let's head over there new aircraft available select deployment location phoenix omega uh, we, we want it at phoenix point cool we have a new craft oh so actually let's have a look at these guys level six level six level five level five level seven okay so let's give them some level ups uh, you have got that you have the dash uh, thief no bombardier no Farsighted, no. Ignore pain. Nah. Rally the troops. Nah. Uh, bloodlust. Nah. Ready for action. Nah. So, let's give you some speed, some willpower, some strength, and some more speed. Then we have Stephen Ace Clark. Who has sniperist? Uh, do we want to give him that? Gain sniper rifle proficiency with plus 25% damage and minus 4 willpower. I don't think I do want to get that. Uh, weak spot disabling a body part also removes that part, body part's armor. Master marksman, I want that. And then I want you to have. Like that. Okay, then we have Carrie here, who is a priest. Um, mind control. Um, induce panic. Sounds pretty good. A quarterback. Hmm. Mind sense. All organic enemies within 15 tiles are automatically revealed. Oh, yes. Um, do we want to give carry an assault class as well? Hmm. We might for the dash. But for now, let's just give her... Some speed, a lot of willpower, and some health. Do that. Okay. Uh, equipment. Oh, there's a mutate thing. Armored head. Cost 80 somethings. We don't have any somethings. Uh, what are the mutagens? We have two. So we're not muting, mutating anything right now. You need armor. I wonder why we can't make the, the head armor. Maybe they just get it from experience or something. Get a redeemer rifle. Some ammo for it. A med kit. Because we can't manufacture uh, armor. You can't manufacture the headpiece for it. But our other guy, uh, where is his? He, he, this guy, he has it. And he's the same class. So I don't know how we get that head armor. Well, anyway. Uh, let's give you a grenade as well. And I think that'll be fine. I actually want to make some grenades. Uh, grenade. Uh, do we have other grenades? The incendiary ones? No. Alright, so let's make some of those. And get back to our personnel here. We outfitted you. You are equipped 
We have a New Jericho. No. Uh, we want a bulldog. And we'll put that to the top. Then we have this guy who we basically have no equipment for. But I don't think he's going anywhere. Don't think he's going anywhere. Not until we get some equipment for him. Well, he has his armor. So... But he has no weapons that he can use as such. Mm, plus 20 stealth, plus 20 stealth, plus 10 stealth and perception. No speed boosts or anything. But we could give him that and a med kit and some grenades and just see how that works out. So he can come and he might be useful. Uh, training, surprise attack, attack from behind, gain shock value equal, equal to three times the damage dealt. Let's do that. Or decoy. Deploy holographic decoy at the chosen location. The decoy is treated as a real target by all enemies. We'll get that as well. Ooh. You know what we're going to do? We are going to get that. We are going to give him assault training. Give him dash. And then we're going to outfit him a little bit differently. Uh, spider drone pack. Deploy three spider drones with one action. We don't have any spider drones. Uh, we'll give you... Something like this for now. And then we'll switch up your equipment. Uh, plus ammo. I'll give you a medkit as well. You can still have that thing. And then there's James. Who I am considering multi-classing into a heavy. But it doesn't have the heavy weapons proficiency thing. So hmm. And it's really... I think I'd rather have a sniper heavy combo. Yeah. We want rapid clearance, don't we? Yes, we do. Now... Do strength. All right, you have the equipment you need. Okay, so that is all of them at base. Yeah, and they need to be transferred to the Tiamat. Jump to the Geoscape. And I want the Tiamat. So you are on your way over there to help if you can make it in time. The Tiamat will come down here and do a scan. Come on, we need to make it in time. Please, 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 please. Yes, even under attack. We were just in the nick of time. Alright, so in the next episode we will uh, start out by defending uh, this haven we, and hopefully saving it so that we get the nice reward and so Sinedrian will like us a little bit better. So thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.